to plant a tree. You cut a circle three foot in diameter and remove all the turf. You then cut a square hole, do you see, and, and it sits inside that circle. And it is very important that you do not dig that hole deeper than the depth of the pot that the baby tree is in. So, if you, as you can see, what I've done here, come and, come and have a, a sort of a closer look, but you'll see I've left a little mound in the middle of that hole so that the tree in its pot will sit there. Because otherwise, what will happen, as has happened, I can see to 12 recently planted magnolias, they've sunk, they've gone down an inch. And you'd say, well, that doesn't matter, it's only gone down an inch. And we need to go back to the 5th century BC when Theophrastus, uh, a Greek philosopher, wrote a great treatise on, on trees and plants. And one of his fascinations is where the soul of a plant li lived. Where was the soul in a plant? You see, in an animal, you can kill an animal through its, its head or its heart. It, it's got a, a vital organ that you can kill it. Whereas a tree and a plant you can cut it down and it will regrow. Um, and he realized that you could cut a tree right down to its base and still it would send up shoots. So he said the soul of a plant must sit precisely at ground level where the seed germinated. That is where the soul of a plant is. And indeed we know that if you plant a tree too deep and you bring the soil say an inch or two inches higher than the uh, growth point of the tree and you can usually see the color of the bark subtly ch changes just as it enters the soil. If you bury a tree two inches lower than it should be it will invariably die. Some very hardy trees will survive that but it is reckoned that 40% of trees that we plant die because they are buried too deeply just by a matter of inches. So this is a very important point that Tony has learned over the years don't dig the hole deeper than the pot. <laughs>